All right, so I'm the lucky one to have the last session for today. So thank you for sticking around. And today I will share with you how we host uh, our customers on eight Kubernetes clusters. So let me start with saying that probably the best way of learning about your customers, customer needs, understanding customer needs, is actually using your own product. And that's what we do at Octopus Deploy. We use, uh, for those that are not familiar with Octopus Deploy, we play in the space of uh, deployment automation, release deployment and operations. And we use our product to deploy to our clients. Fortunately, our product is great, so it is easy to eat our own dog food. We have two, I will call it, flavors of our product. Our product can be used by customers and hosted on their own infrastructure. And we also have Octopus Cloud, which is deployment as a service. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, so we host customer instances across three regions in US, Europe, and Australia. And those 1,800 customer instances are set up as tenants. So each of our customer instance is set up as tenant. And the biggest benefit of setting them up as tenant is that we can follow a single deployment process and then using variables to, have, to customize those deployments. And we use uh, tenant tags uh, to, to actually uh, define specific uh, customer groups. The biggest value is consistency in your deployment process, the speed, how quickly we can set up new clients, and there's no duplication of efforts, so that should make your DevOps team happy. Uh, each customer gets a container running in AKS, so that's what we're using for our own instance, uh, and they get a dedicated namespace with a dedicated Azure SQL database and a dedicated Azure file share. If you will think about the benefits, why we set up our customers this way, it's to lower the cost of crosstalk because each tenant has unique connection string and infrastructure. There's no single place within the application where application code where um, someone can access all tenant uh, data. And also in case a customer will get compromised, it will only impact that single client. Uh, we're limiting the, the risk of noisy neighbors. So each tenant, as you can see, they are set up on their own infrastructure. So they have dedicated CPU, RAM, database resources. So if you have clients that are very demanding in terms of they're using a lot of resources, at least it doesn't impact your other clients. And then deployment time. Uh, I mentioned uh, we have about 1,800 customers on our cloud uh, uh, version, and those are rolling deployments. So we're done within 48 hours with updating all of them. We do respect the maintenance window that we set up for each of the client, but the single tenant, it takes between two to five minutes. And our story is we're good as, um, that's our story, how, we, how we're able to scale, to scale our cloud deployments. But those are some data from our clients. Uh, so we have customers that have 5,000 tenants. We have customers that have over 4,000 deployments in a single day. Some of them deploy to 16,000 virtual machine, or we have a client who deploys 600 Kubernetes clusters. So as you can see, we are a best example why uh, eating your own dog food can help you to make your product better. And if you have any questions, we will welcome uh, conversation after, after, the, after today's event. So thank you.